What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with another NASCAR diecast review and this is continuing my theme of doing requests for my Instagram page and this was another one that I got and I've never done a race version so I thought I'd go ahead and give this one a try and this is Dale Earnhardt Jr's 2004 Bush Series Menards number 81 Chevrolet which is part of the sweep which I do have the Cup Series car I'll probably do, excuse me, I'll probably do a review on that pretty soon Anyway, let's get into this uh, beautiful blue paint scheme. So, uh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, remember this car, uh, but I don't know why. But for the longest time, until I saw a picture of this car, um, I always thought I don't know why. I was a little kid, so bear with me. I don't know why, but I always thought. It was sponsored by Irwin Tools for some reason, which was sponsoring Roush at the time. So I really don't know. I think it was Roush, but I really don't know why I was thinking that. But then I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's what that car was. Anyways, that's just kind of a weird memory thing. But let's get down to this car. This car has plenty to go over. There's the front end. Of course, we have grill, grill tape. Anyways, uh, which looks pretty good. They started doing this about 2004 when they actually started having uh, grill decals and having tape over it. Which looks pretty nice. So we got Monte Carlo and we got a little Chevrolet bow tie right there, which I don't notice that on any other any other Chevrolet race version from this area. So that's kind of weird. There's 81. Got some grime. It's hard to see, but there's the tape on the bottom. But you can see the details right there. That's pretty good. We got on the hood, we got save big money at Menards. And for the longest time, I, first, I thought Menards was a kind of like an advanced auto parts. So I thought it was a, a car a car needs store like advanced auto and auto zone. But anyway, uh, let's look, take a look at the engine detail. Ugh, come on, focus. There we go. And uh, I just did a review over Jamie Mack's uh, rookie car. And I don't know, I guess it's just, this is just shows how much better they did detail back then because the engines are definitely manufacturer specific. And we got Menard under the hood. So there's that. Take a look at the hood uh, up here. We got the pull off, the tear off though. Sheets on the windshield. Got 81. And no DIN numbers at this time. Let's take a look at the deck lid. It says save big money at Menards. And I'm not really even sure what the tape is. I don't know if that's accurate to the car. Anyways, let's uh, look at the fuel cell. Same as always. Of course, my bumper. We've got Menards. we got the DEI Dale Earnhardt Celebrating logo, 81 on both uh, tail lights. We got Chevrolet bow tie right there. Let's take a look at the uh, driver's side of this car. Of course, we got some already got some uh, hip, some good Bristol racing on it. We got riding on the uh, tires. Left front five. Huh? What they do still from uh, the Hendrick car? Probably not. But anyway, that's a uh, that's a nice detail that they put on some of these. They don't put them on all of them. I don't know if they do it anymore. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Of course, we got a little donut right there. I think Matt Kenseth gave that to him. After the win. Uh, in 81, we got the little arrow for the tax name. We got tur turtle wax. Turtle wax. Not totally enough for turtle wax. Snap on. We got some grime over the uh, wheel well right here. We got Menards. Moen, J.M. Miller, Welders. There's that K. I can't pronounce what that says. Safety clean. <laughs> oh, sorry. I could still in the weather. And we got Peak right there on the C post and on the B post. We got Champion Spark Plugs, Morton, Cincinnati, Emerge, whatever that is. Dale Hart Jr.'s signature. And then there's the 2004 contingencies. To around to the right side, and we have some more wear and tear. 
as we should. This was a Bristol race. And there's right front, five again. Stickers. I like these race versions that you can tell they've been raced. Mm, another donut right there. Some uh, scrapes and dirt. Yeah, it's a good race version car, for sure, as is the cut version. I think there's a little bit... I like how they did damage back then. That's supposed to be a little bit of a rip in the... Right there. But anyway. Nice car. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, other side of it. Of course, we don't have stickers, because these tires are worn. You can... I think this is when they started actually making the tires look worn, too. So that's a good feature. But anyway, there's the car. It's a beautiful blue, I think. I, I mean, I love the Menards cars. This one is kind of a... Uh, it's, it's different compared to the other cars. And another thing about this, I believe this car is on a NASCAR 06, which is a 2005. And it was with an alternate for Dale Jr.'s Bush car. I don't know if he was scheduled to run this car in 2005, but instead of changing the, the neon orange one now, but... Anyway, that's another side note. That's off topic. Let's take a look at the box. We got some stuff to go over here. Let's focus in. And there's Dale Jr. Dale Jr. had some long curls back then. This was not long after he burnt himself in that uh, Corvette accident at Sonoma. There's the trophy. And this bothers me. This right here. So there's the 81 on the actual car. Here's the 81 on the diecast. It's like that with the neon orange car. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. But I'm like, why couldn't you just get that right? It's not the same. But that's, you know, petty stuff. We got a picture of him uh, doing his victory lap. He did not do a burnout. I actually went back and watched the end of this race. Not too long after I got it, he did not do a burnout. He went straight to the victory lane. But, yeah, there's his... Uh, what he wore after he burned himself, race version. 124 scale sock car. Same on the other side. On the other side. Then we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. Number 81 Menards Bristol Race Win version. 2004 Monte Carlo. Total production of 9,216. So this one isn't for, uh, for, for that. The standards of then, it's not that highly really produced of a car. Uh, all right, that pretty much does it. My final thoughts are, you know, I've got the set, and I remember I uh, I got this one before I got the the Budweiser car because the Budweiser car was hard to find for a, a good price, and uh, the one I did find for a good price, the seller was out while I bought this one. Yeah, so I was kind of disappointed about that, but it's a beautiful blue scheme. It's just a simple DEI scheme of the time. And it's one that he only ran once, so it's pretty cool. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you would like. It would help out a lot. It would mean a lot. And uh, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page at jpat_docast2. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night wherever you are.